Good day all, Captain Mike along with the EMS Division. Welcome back to another episode of the EMS Video Training Series. The following procedures depicted in this video are solely for instructional purposes and do not demonstrate all the necessary universal precautions for an actual response. The steps shown are proven to be the best tips for a successful establishment of an advanced airway with either visual or video laryngoscope. Let's take a look at the procedures for visual laryngoscopy. Select the appropriate size air track SP according to the size of ET tube to be inserted. Press the orange switch that is located below the battery cover to turn on the light. After 30 seconds, ensure that the light is steady. When the light remains steady, the anti-fog system is fully activated. Inflate and check the distal cuff of the ET tube for leaks and punctures. Deflate and remove stylet. Lubricate the ET tube and place into the lateral channel of the AirTrack SP without contact to the lens. Align the tip of the ET tube with the end of the lateral channel of the AirTrack SP. If using the A390 Wi-Fi camera, simply pull the eye cup from the AirTrack SP to remove and replace with the camera by inserting at the proximal end until fully seated. Insert the AirTrack SP into the midline of the patient's mouth. Take special care to avoid pushing the tongue inside the oropharynx. Before it reaches to the vertical plane, begin to look and identify the airway structures. If you're unable to make out the anatomy, reposition the camera by withdrawing and backing it up to a parallel position with the patient. Tilt to reinsert into position and lift. Continue the insertion until the epiglottis is identified. Place the tip of the AirTrack SP in the vellecula. Gently lift the AirTrack SP to expose the vocal cords. Align the vocal cords in the center of the visual field by gently moving the tip of the AirTrack SP as necessary, either left or right. Gently advance the ET tube inside the channel and check the depth of insertion. Inflate the ET tube cuff as performed normally and check for proper positioning. Separate the ET tube from the AirTrack SP blade by pulling it laterally or to the side of the mouth while manually holding the ET tube in its position. Remove the AirTrack SP from the patient's airway following the midline. Secure the ET tube with a commercially available tube securing device. Confirm proper placement of the ET tube and attach end tidal CO2 filter line. As EMS providers, confirming airway patency and adequate oxygenation is paramount after ensuring scene safety. A patent airway is crucial and the process of ventilation and oxygenation is necessary to sustain life. Airway management is on the top of our list of life-threatening concerns to achieve prior to moving on to another intervention. Remember that when there is no airway, there is no patient. Always ready, proud to serve.